Have you seen it? Have you seen it? I'm talking about this guy right here. Come on now, look at this, look at this. Oh, it's the most glorious thing ever. Thank you, Zedep. Zedep and his crew put together this amazing new ornithopter and it's it's incredible. It replaces the Elytra and it, and it feels like part of the create mod it's amazing if you haven't heard yeah go check out zed's video he he describes all the magic how he did this and everything it's absolutely incredible but it came out so so good the tail does a little flippy thing too all right mr piggy we got a lot to do today so let's get busy here you guys remember the end of the last episode well last episode we built we built this storage room here, okay? And, uh, well, you know, if you stayed till the very end, you saw that uh, we had some technical difficulties and things didn't go out so well, but uh, rest assured, I have fixed it. I have fixed it and redesigned a little bit of it, and we now have a six bays to use. Check it out. A one. A two. A three. I mean, they're not decorated or anything like that. I took the buttons off because the buttons actually broke it. Four. Five, or is that, I don't know, is it? We got six, there we go, bam! Okay, it works like a dream now. We're gonna, today we're gonna decorate these. But yeah, last episode we had, we had a flaw. We had a flaw in the design of the redstone here. And I don't know how I didn't see it. It was pretty obvious how, that it was going to break, uh, but it's fixed now. I've added a little skadoodler here that, uh, that kind of fixes it. So before, if you press two different buttons back to back, you get two different signals and they both try to come over. And they, it, again, stupidity on my part. <laughs> but I got a, a pretty clever little uh, solution for this, I think. So now when you hit a note block, it updates the observer, okay? And it goes, it, well, before the, this row of blocks were here as well. Now though, when you hit it, uh, the signal not only sends the current bay to the back, but also comes over here and triggers this guy here. We have a little uh, sequenced gear ship now that is turning uh, an arbitrary amount of degrees. But the important thing is while this uh, this whole like uh, shaft right here is, is rotating, it's not a real block. So if you hit another note block, the observer still updates and it tries to stick both through and there's no block there. So it's just like, eh, I got no redstone signal. So check it out. We'll hit like this guy right here, boom. See, see that thing rotating here? That's the safety guard now. So if I do this and then do that, boom. That would have broken it last time. This time it didn't because there's no block for it to sit. So, but you know, honestly, I mean, pr pretty cool solution. I kind of like it. So now I think it is 99% foolproof. I think it probably, if I really hammered on it, I could probably break it. Like if I, if I could somehow press two of these no blocks, like one tick apart, it would probably still break because I mean, it, it probably takes like what a tick we got is it, like two ticks to get through this stuff and get back there and get the thing going. So this, there probably is a two tick delay where I could break it, but I don't think that's going to happen unless someone's really being malicious. All right. So what's on the agenda for today? We got a lot to do and it's going to be a ton of work in the factory, which is cranking along by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but look at all those percentages. Everything is basically busting full. We're going to be adding a ton to the factory today. I've already added the brass sheets, which uh, I'll show you that. We got the uh, logs over here. We're going to be updating that and changing that. We're going to be changing this right here. Uh, and then we got, um, we, we, we got this. This is my upgraded honey maker, uh, honey apple maker thing. Uh, it, it, we, we did this in a live stream and it kinda turned out okay. Kind, kind of, sort of, but we're going to improve this a lot today, make it a lot better here. Uh, but, you know, let's be honest, it's it's already better than the ones that left here. But more importantly and more exciting is our main bus line here is uh, it's going to go up to the second floor and we're going to start building second floor factory action. We got a lot of things to do. We're going to automate uh, cogs and uh, shoots and other things like that. And I think, I think B-Dub said he wanted a break maker maybe we'll take a stab at that today probably somewhere up there we're gonna hopefully get all this stuff cleaned up here and really start integrating into the storage room and maybe even get the storage room populating automatically hello tango mm, hello zf behold <laughs> behold train things did you make this oh <laughs> behold tango <laughs> Behold. Behold. Did you, you, you beheld a little too hard there. <laughs> I might have done. Look yeah, at this. This is, this is my train. This is called the Mighty Steamer. Oh, that That's okay. That's a name. You, you really you went with that. You just, okay. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. 
Um, come on, hop, let's hop aboard. Don't sit down yet. We'll, uh, we'll okay. head over to my base. I've got something Look to show you. Oh, um, I feel like I'm steam worthy. Okay. Uh, you want to sit that side? I'll sit this side. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's do it. Right. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get Excellent. going shortly. Okay. Does uh, a little bit. something happen to happen to make the train go? Or? I think that the, the sheep up front there is just doing the check. There, there you go. go. The sheep was not <laughs> looking at you. Oh. It wasn't looking what it was doing. Oh, oh that's disorienting. Oh, oh Tango. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there are sick bags under the yeah, chairs. Just yeah, in case. okay, I noticed that. Like, the train's moving and we're moving and everything's all. Whoa, that's so weird. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot worse. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh thank you. Thank you for the vomit ride. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. It's worse than. Oh, trees. There's foliage as well. <laughs> oh, you, you got knocked off your seat. Huh? You got knocked out of your chair. Oh. Oh, I got steamed. Okay. Uh, we're here. We're here. <laughs> Welcome. Whoa. Okay, the, this is a whole thing now. This, I'd like to introduce you to the Flopovator, is the, what I'm calling the this flop thing. The Flopovator? Mm-hmm. So after, yep, after I ride the steamer, it gets... Okay, I see where this is going. All right. Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. have you ever wanted to go upwards, Tago, in life? Occasionally, yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally. Well, <laughs> this thing right oh, no. here... Oh no! Can totally do it. Oh, oh, no. we'll, we'll, we'll have a we'll have a passenger free ride first. Okay. Ready? So just okay. Imagine yourself sat on this. Uh huh. Whoop. Whoop. Press the button. Whoop. It flops its oh, way up the wall. It... What? It does it things. Crawls. Up it goes. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Look at that! Oh. It goes round. <laughs> and in the meantime, oh. this pink one oh, has the come pink... back to the pink. To did the pink there. one swap? I didn't even they, notice they the do pink a one. Okay, I read yeah. this. I read this immediately. Is it, it's better on the ends, I'm guessing, right? Possibly on the ends. Mm -hmm. We'll write it together. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts <laughs> a bit. <laughs> Whoa, okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, you fell hey, out. You're trying to kill me here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hold on. Well, enough, I right? didn't know that there were safety measures and instructions I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make it I go made, again? I made it fine. I want to go again. Okay, you you ride that one. I'll ride this one. Okay. Ow! Uh, Ow! Oh! Okay. Can you see me? Oh! Across the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're like warping all over the place. Oh, burp, no, right? burp, the flop of air. It's the only way to travel. <sighs> that was. That was intense. Okay, I'm how, here. How are your bits? I, <laughs> there might have been some sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, come on down and I'll, uh, I'll okay. send you, send you your it, merry way on the old Do road. I just ride it again? Yeah, if you want to ride it down, you can. Okay. All right. Uh, wait, where's... Oh, there's one. Okay, go. Oh! I'm going to be dead Why soon. are you taking damage? I don't know. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't accommodate my... Uh, ow! You, you're ow, good. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> You're getting flopped in the head, I think. This ride is super fun. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you took damage on every single every flop. Every single turn, and I got my bits smashed in. Come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, maybe I'll need to, to, to clean yeah, this up you a may bit. Need I think to, maybe, um... maybe some glass edges will be a bit oh, safer. Yeah. You can breathe in glass. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> Your brain... It's How a fun you... way of going up. Yeah, that, I mean, efficiency, man, might need some working on, but but fun factor, nailed it. Well, hey, listen, you had plenty of time to worry about all the pain you were receiving whilst you were going up there, so, uh -huh. you uh -huh. know, efficiency ain't key when you're, when you're hurting your face. No, I mean, you know, oh, this is unbelievable. Well, that, <laughs> and you use the little sticky things. I like it. The little sticky things, yeah. I haven't yeah, used those around yet. the corners there because mm -hmm. uh, it's like seven blocks wide. The yeah. mats didn't work out yeah, to like yeah, perfectly yeah. go to the edge, so I had to do some little and observers. Little hingy bits. It's all very clean. I like it. That's it. So uh, you you can leave on the train if you want. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much health I have. Hold on, I made some apples first. Before. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I do with you is like good. Just okay. I don't know how to climb ladders. There we go. I'm see, in. I want to see the train leaving. Uh, I'm gonna take the back seat. Maybe it's safer. Okay. Goodbye. It might be. It might not be. Yeah, everything has been Tango. fun. Enjoy your ride. Ow! <laughs>
All right, let's get started. I've got a, I got a lot to do today, so I want to uh, show you first what I've already got done, and then we're gonna get on to the new stuff. It's gonna work. The factory's gonna be coming alive, and I'm pretty excited here. So, all right, let's see. Where do we start? We got brass sheets and logs. Let me show you the logs here first. Originally, this was just gonna be I was just gonna store oak logs because ZF made the tree farm out there and he's gonna be sending the logs in this way all that stuff and everything so i want to put them in here but i don't want to just store logs i also want to get uh i need another refined wood if you will i need to get the stripped logs and i need planks so i set up a little uh sawmill skadoodler here so the logs go in here they get pulled out of this guy here and run across the mechanical sawmill here. Bzzz. And believe it or not, this thing is actually spinning. It doesn't look like it, but it's kind of tough doing these because they have to spin backwards. So getting all the gearing for these things is kind of a pain, but the log comes over here and well, you know what, let me get some logs and I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna put a lever there and a lever there. Just as like temporary override stuff. Now I'm gonna take some logs and drop them on the thing. Did, did I drop them on the thing? No, I didn't even release. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try that again. Go. There they go. Okay, they're on the thing. Now they come into the saw. Bzz, 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 bzz. I love the looks of that thing. It looks amazing. And they're all because we have a filter here on the stripped oak logs. They're just going straight in there, right? Right into this guy here. And this holds 80, yeah, 80 stacks uh, of these stripped oak logs. And when that fills up, they will go by like this and get and get an extra zip. Oh, you only know, saw one there. Hold on, let's do a little bit more here. Uh, eh. There we go. And they'll go by there and then get uh, stripped up on the planks as well and go right in there. So now we're storing. And then of course, when all this backs up, this will back up and then the logs will start storing there. So we have oak logs, which is really just the bulk. The only thing I really need are these two, the planks and the uh, the stripped logs. And now I can request, you know, future systems in here can request either one. They can request the stripped oak logs or they can request the planks as needed here uh but i'm still reporting logs on the sign because when that fills up that means the other two are kind of filled up as well and i have also added a uh brass sheet process applicator as well oh hi zf it's pretty much the same as the, as the gold sheets and the iron sheets and stuff pretty straightforward stuff here we're taking in the brass hey -oh! we're taking in the brass ingots that we're making here they go in they go in there up this little ramp there over here to the uh, depot there where they get smashificated by this guy, right? And then it falls down through there and gets sucked up in there and put into storage. But this is pretty much like the easiest, God, I'm stuck, hell, pretty much the easiest machine we make here. Brass sheets and logs. All right, moving forward, these two are coming out. I'm, I'm done with these, right? Where's the, where, where's my, I could just break them and end game, but because I don't think we're gonna need that many of these. And I think I want to reserve some uh, some level one bays on the factory for future things. So we're gonna we're gonna just leave those open for now. Which brings us to the delicious honey apples. Uh, so you guys remember that I built the machine here. It was a thing. It was a thing. It was a valiant effort. Uh, we tore that down. We built this instead. Uh, and I built this in a stream, and it it works. It works 100%. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's 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 too wide and clunky, and it goes into the floor and stuff. And I, so so I got a better design here, I think. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna go through it together. Let me erase, erase, erase this one. And there it goes. The old one is gone. These honey apples are delicious. I need some more. So uh, let's let's do it together. Let's have a little machine here that makes honey apples. So starting off, just like all of our machines, the first thing we need to do is make an input for all of our like raw products that we need. So we're going to put two brass inputs here. One of them is going to be for the honey blocks and one of them is going to be for raw apples or I don't know why I said raw apples. Do you cook apples? That sounds pretty gross. I don't think I want any cooked apples. But these two products will be delivered from trains uh, coming soon. Oh, oh, hi there, friends. You guys are always welcome. And we didn't want to deliver honey. I mean, we, you can have liquid on trains and stuff, but that adds a whole big problem here. So we're blocking up the honey here in item form. Uh, and then one of the first things we have to do is convert it back into honey. So to do that, we're going to put a, a basin there. We're going to put a uh, brass funnel there. That's going to pull the honey blocks out. I'm going to need a filter of honey blocks on that honey blocks are going to fall out of there go into the basin uh and then we're going to get a mixer right 
there on top of it. So the mix is going to come down and it's going to convert the honey blocks into liquid honey. But this, this is not the one we're going to do. This is kind of one way to do it, but it requires a blaze burner and fuel and everything. It gets messy. So instead, we're going to go this one. If you put in a honey block and four empty glass bottles and mix them up and listen, listen, we don't really need to talk about what happens when you put glass bottles in a high powered steel mixer and turn it on at super fast speeds. I mean, of course, good things are going to happen. But the output of this is four honey bottles. And those honey bottles, as long as I sit a little recipe filter there, they're going to squirt out of that little thing there and go into the drain. I haven't used the drain yet, but what happens is the conveyor moves them along and they kind of do a little roly poly action here and flip over this and they pour their contents into this drain. And of course, then we can use a mechanical pump to reverse reverse to pump the honey out of that drain and put it into a tank. Uh, but we now have glass bottles kicking around and we need to get the glass bottles back into the basement this is like this is super clever stuff here i think i, I love this like so i'm gonna put a little nope we're gonna get a weighted ejector now <sighs> one more try we're gonna get a weighted ejector shooting back into there and we're gonna put it right there okay and as long as we get a brass filter on this guy right there okay now the water bottles are gonna like blah, 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 blah. Drain the little honey bits in there and then get sucked up in there. I got to put a glass, uh, an empty glass filter, filter, filter on the, on the filter, 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 filter. But now the glass bottles are going to go up onto the weighted ejector, uh, yeetificator here and go and get launched back into the basin. So with like eight glass bottles, this is a self-sustaining loop here. The, the honey comes in, gets mixed out. Honey goes in there. Honey gets pumped out there in liquid form. Empty glass bottles go there. Boop, recycle the system here. Very nice closed loop here and it doesn't require any fuel or heating so i mean that's the hard part right there now we got our liquid honey here we're gonna pump it through there into a small tank here to hold that honey and then another pump here to take it out over here into the uh spout squirtificator thing here and now what we need to do is get our apples coming out of the storage there i want to put a filter for apples there so that only apples can come out they'll go on this conveyor belt right here and the uh the thing's gonna whoosh, it's gonna put the honey right on it and now we're gonna go ahead and just make the storage to uh like a little three by three vault uh, vault action there to store the honey apples we'll put a filter right there a brass filter uh because again this conveyor belt is going to be coming out this way and going that way they're going to get squirted right there and then let me put this guy right there so now the apples will go right into the bulk storage and i mean that's almost it at that we just got to put a little conveyor here to uh to send the apples on their way to the storage room and we can put a, a guy right there uh let's uh flip that around so it's pointing out so uh this will be redstone powered but when the power turns off it'll go down here onto the conveyor belt and away it goes and that'll just about do it i mean we gotta do a little, couple more things down here we gotta get gears and blips and blops in there and everything rotating the right way which is a pain we need redstone links in here so that we can remotely signal which pieces we want to turn on and turn off and everything internally and externally and then of course we gotta get the stockpile switches in here as well so that we know how much is in there and before you know it we're done so let's try it out let's, let's see if it works i think i don't know we're gonna take the eight glass bottles and throw them in the in the little basin there and that's all we should have to do i think for the glasses ever now let's throw in let's throw in one app one apple and it should go down the conveyor belt and stop okay good it stops there because there's no honey and it's like hey i can be patient i'll, I'll wait for the honey to squirt all over me so let, let's do a little bit more apple a little bit more apple and now we bring the blocks of honey let's try just one go ready set go and it goes in the mixer mixes it squirts out it empties it empties? I think it worked. Did, do we have? Hello? Hmm, let's try, let's, try, let's try another one. See what happens. Here we go. We'll throw it in. Comes out. It gets squirted. And now these should roll across. No. Why Why are you backed up? Uh, oh, are you hooked up? Did I hook? Oh, I didn't hook up my, my thing. That's why. All right, let's get a shaft right there. That hooks up the... Wait, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Look at it. Bloop. Bloop. I mean, it kind of goes through the mixer, but it's making it into the barrel. And then look, look at these guys. They just roll right across. Oh, I love it. Okay, here we go. Uh, more. Honey, 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 honey. Okay. Now we should start mixing. And eventually, here it goes. It's, it's filling up here. And it should be getting pumped out of... Oh, the squirting! There it is! There it is! <laughs> yes! Okay, it's working. This is great. This is great. Oh, that is so satisfying. I love it. I love it. More honey. We're out of honey. It eats you honey real quick. 
Up more honey. Rolls across. You can see it like filling up there and everything. That's amazing. Oh, we're on apples. Apple, 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 apple. And get squirted. And there we go. There we go. Honey apples are done. I'm very pleased with how that machine finally turned out. So moving on here, we've got three bays now that are open. I'm going to... I think I'm going to leave them open for now because I want to have some future expandabilities. You know, if I put something up there that requires a previous kind of ingredient or something, I might want some spots down here to supply that and stuff. So we'll see. But check it out. Did you see it? Did you notice? Hold on. Not that. Hang on. Let me get down here. Look. We got the second layer conveyor belt action going and it, it just fit in perfectly. I love it. Honestly, you can't even... You really can't even see it that much from down here. It kind of blends right in. So this is perfect. This is perfect. I thought it was going to be a lot clunkier than that, but it fits in perfect. So what I want to do now, we got to get our goods, right? They start, they start over there and they skadoodle all the way around and do all the processing. And now we need to get them from here up to there so that they can go back there, around there, around there and into the storage room. So to do this, we've got to, I want to do, I want to do a fan. We're going to get a fan right there blowing up and then we're basically just gonna do a bunch of uh shoots on top of it like that we can put a little hole in the sides we can see the items go up and then up there we'll put a little brass funnel and all we need to do now is power that fan and i don't know what's going on down here for a power situation okay it's not great but i think we can just probably do this and then just belt these two fools together I, t together to get to get why can i not belt you get belted interesting i haven't tried that yet apparently you can't do belt vertical belts on an angle okay there should be no problem we will just gearbox it in we'll do one there we'll do one there and we will do a those are two vertical gearboxes we'll do a normal gearbox there and spin and now we see if the 50 50 chance if our fan is blowing the right way I, I can't get out of here and of course not the fan is blowing down okay we need to invert it i mean it's not pretty we're gonna kick it back on the block throw an extra gearbox in there and that should invert it okay it's going up now and now we throw in a brass a filter like a so and now whatever we throw in there gets shot out the top there it is. And we just bring our fans up to the top. Very simple. Put a little cap on it. And then one of these guys out in the front. And I think, I think that's it now. If I throw something on there, it should go up the thing. I think, I think it went out there. I mean, it, we should see it come over and fall off here in a second. Boop, boop, there it is. Okay. We shot off. Excellent. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Okay, so I mean the, the whole upper deck thing is, is working, which means now we can put in as many tier two contraption applicators as we want and, and let's get going. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, the item fan that lifts things up is too slow. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to double whammy jammy power this or something. All right, I think I got it. We're gonna go a little bit old school and a little bit new school. A little, little bit vanilla and a little bit create here. Let me go down here. We're going with the soul sand elevator because it's super fast and it can take as much as you want. But we got these, these glass item frames. This is kind of what sold me. These things are pretty nice here. So now, let me see here. We'll, we'll, we'll throw some some apples, right? Now there goes as fast as we want. They go up the thing into the barrel. They get sucked up in and then they should be going around. They get sucked up there into the barrel and pulled out there. Yeah, they should be coming out over here. Excellent. Oh no, they're, <laughs> they're being recycled. Well, we have an infinite loop of apples now. Okay, it is time to have some fun here. I'm going to take a whole bunch of freshly cut Corrales oak logs here. Uh, hold on. Inventory full. And we're going to get the process going here because I we, we're going we're gonna to put some logs in here so that we can get some planks. And uh, I've been busy. I've been busy. We are now automating cogs. We are now automating chutes. And we are now automating bricks. This one's for you, B-dubs. So we're really going to be like flexing our dependencies here. So I want to throw in some logs first and hopefully if things Things work right logs go in they go across the sawmill now very good 
and planks are made. Oh, and planks are actively being requested because we need them. I love it. It's like, it's such a smart factory. Uh, we need them for shoots. Yeah, it's going into the shootificator. Honestly, that is just the best thing about this factory. It is so alive. Like as soon as the dependency is needed, the system automatically kicks on and just starts requesting it. It's so cool. Okay, with the planks filling up, we got to wait for it to fill up in here a little bit. I'll explain it in a second, but this is going to be our cogificator. It's going to make small cogs and large cogs here. Uh, it's amazing. So basically what you can do is andesite alloy across one of these mechanical saws and it turns into six of the uh, shafts they go under the deployer here and the deployer just takes uh planks and goes boink 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 and, and there it goes there it goes and turns it <laughs> wow that was weird and turns it into small the first one turns it into a small cog okay and then it gets sucked up into this filter here and goes back here why are you not being sucked up into the filter oh there we go okay i had the filter set on like to take more than one and obviously there's only one at a time so now this first guy is picking up the the small cogs as soon as they are made it should be going in here yep that's filling up rapidly right now when this fills up and i'll probably you know i don't need that many cogs i'll probably put in some dummy items here or something like that i'm not sure uh but then the items will just automatically flow past to this guy and he'll start hitting it again and the second plank on top of a small uh cog turns it into a large cog so we got a whole system here to deliver this thing and it's uh it's all smart and aware and only turn on when necessary the planks are delivered to the the two uh, deployers and everything it's this stuff is so much fun and as always guys i know i don't go into all the detail on every one of these machines if you have questions stop by one of my live streams and i'll be happy to explain it to you all in detail when we have the time the next new machine we got here is the shootificator and you guessed it it makes shoots these guys the kind of like things that are like hoppers and not really but sometimes better sometimes not now the recipe for a shoot is very simple iron sheet iron ingot and iron sheet just like that and you get four shoots out of it so we're using the automated mechanical craft this year i got them aligned just three of them in a row like that and what we're doing is we're splitting the uh i think you got yeah we got iron sheets on this side and iron shoot or iron ingots on that side uh the iron uh sheets are gonna go down go in there go straight down and go in there so they're gonna go on the top and the bottom one and then on the other side over here they're gonna go down and just go into the middle one and that's what automatically creates it and this bottom guy here i don't know if you can see yeah see his arrow is pointing right into the barrel here he should put the shoots right in there it all again is all smart turns on when it needs shoots or when someone's requesting shoots etc etc all i gotta do now in theory i haven't tested this one yet, so it's probably gonna fail I need to do is turn these guys on by switching this and that should turn on there it goes oh oh no <laughs> I, okay so I, what happened is i turned on iron ingots and because iron sheets requires iron ingots earlier in the line it's sucking them all up and that's fine It'll, once that fills up they'll uh, they'll go right past that so in the meantime let's turn on iron sheets by doing the same thing and those should turn on there they come over here oh that's gonna send out a lot that, that stack size is probably way too big. Let's fix that. We don't want to send out... Yeah, that X, that's no good. Let's send out... Uh, four at a time. Oh, we just sent out a lot of iron sheets. Oh, well. Yeah, it helps if I put a brass funnel on that guy there. Uh, what do we want these to come out? We only want those to come out one at a time, I think. Oh, something is very wrong. We have iron sheets everywhere on the loop right now. Oh no! Okay, there we go. They're finally going in. For some reason, they weren't going in at all. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. It took some uh, some massaging. The vaults were not placed correctly, and they weren't joined up and stuff. But anyway, it's all working now. You can see the. Uh, let's see over here. We got the iron ingots coming down over here, going into the middle uh, auto crafter, and we have the uh, sheets over here going down there. This one's just a pass through, uh, and then this one is going into the side one there, and then the because this guy's pointing that way. There they are. Coming in four at a time. This is going to fill up very fast. We're going to have a ton of sheets. I should probably fill this up with like dummy items and then probably just put a filter on that guy right there so that only shoots can come out. Yeah, I'm going to do that because there's no reason to make 27 stacks of shoots. Let's be honest. Oh, of course. I don't need to do that. Of course, we, it automatically turns off because the stockpile switch hits 15% signal to signal and turns off the clutch over here. Yeah, we're good. Just like I meant to do it and the last new machine is the brickificator like i said this one's for b-dubs i didn't plan on automating uh bricks but b-dubs is using them a lot and he kind of requested it so here we are this one I'm, I'm kind of proud of this one there's a lot going on here and it's pretty compact and different than all the other machines so the way you make bricks or one of the ways you make bricks let me hop up 
here okay uh we're gonna be collecting sand from over there it's gonna come up here and then we're gonna wash the sand right here the sand comes out of there it goes into the little thing and you know a, a fan blowing over water will wash it and that makes for every sand wash that's a 25 percent chance of uh, turning into clay and then the clay poops out over here and goes there and when you obviously cook clay by blowing a pan across lava it turns into uh clay bricks bricks i always get my words mixed up it turns into bricks and then on the other side what we'll do is we'll allow four bricks to come out of here and go into the basin and then the smash figure comes down clang and turns it into a brick and it goes into this vault here there's there's a lot of vaults going on here, but they're four separate independent ones. And I'm using vaults a lot for, for kind of this, you know, it's not just for storage, but it's for shape. It's nice to be able to like put something in somewhere and get it out at a higher place. And that is that, like, that's what allowed me to do all this stuff here in line is by pushing in the bottom of vault and putting out the top of a, uh, what do you call it? A, a two by two vault. And the reason we're doing 16 at a time there is that is the, uh, it's, a, it's an efficiency thing basically it can cook up to 16 uh at the same rate it cooks up to one but if you go higher than 16 then the time it takes starts escalating and blah 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 blah, blah. so to turn this on in theory i just need to set sand because that is the item i'm going to request from over there and then we just reverse this guy and here comes the sand <laughs> you rang Oh no, again, yeah, yeah, that's like the one downside. So soul sand right next to it. Yeah, see, it filled up its sand, but now it's coming. All right, now it's coming along here. Here it comes, here it comes, let's see. We gotta wait for 16 to show up and... Oh, no, no, wait, this guy is locked. Okay, the redstone link is set up. I right click now to make it a receiver and now, yes, there it goes. It starts dumping in all the sand now and all this sand is going to cook down into clay. There it goes, and that clay will get uh, cooked into bricks, and then the filter, as soon as it turns into a brick, it gets sucked up into the filter, and then over here on the other side where it pops out, there it goes, smashy, smashy, instant bricks for B-dubs. Is this not satisfying to watch? Tell me this isn't satisfying. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Me and my glitch chest are going to say goodbye. We got, quite, we got quite a bit done here. I'm very pleased that we're on to tier two of the factory. And tier two of the factory is going to be satisfying. It's going to be all the uh, the, the actual concrete stuff, the, the the create things, the funnels and the things and the combobulators. I can't wait. But I did just get done talking to B-Doves and we've already got a plan for next episode that I'm incredibly excited about. It's going to be amazing. So with that, I will see you next time. I'm...